Understanding Snow-Covered Lake, a journey into English descriptive phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into a beautiful and picturesque English phrase, snow-covered lake. This phrase not only paints a vivid picture in our minds but also offers a fantastic opportunity to explore how English uses adjectives to describe scenes. Stay with us as we uncover the meaning, usage, and the imagery behind this captivating expression. The phrase, snow-covered lake, consists of two main parts, an adjective, snow-covered, and a noun, lake. Snow-covered, is a compound adjective made up of the noun, snow, and the past participle, covered. It describes something that has been completely covered in snow. The noun, lake, refers to a large area of water surrounded by land. Together, the phrase creates a mental image of a lake whose surface is entirely blanketed by snow, suggesting a serene and possibly wintry scene. When we think of a snow-covered lake, we imagine a tranquil and quiet landscape where the hustle and bustle of everyday life seem to pause. This phrase is often used in literature and everyday language to convey not just the physical appearance of a scene, but also the emotions and tranquility associated with it. It's a great example of how English can use descriptive phrases to evoke feelings and images, making our communication more vivid and expressive. Understanding and using phrases like, snow-covered lake, can enhance your English vocabulary and help you express yourself more descriptively. You can use this phrase in creative writing, storytelling, or even in casual conversations to describe scenic beauty during the winter months. It's also an excellent way to practice forming compound adjectives and expanding your descriptive language skills. We hope you enjoyed exploring the phrase, snow-covered lake, with us and that this video has enriched your understanding of English descriptive phrases. Such expressions add color and emotion to our language, allowing us to share our experiences and the world around us more beautifully. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use vivid descriptions in your conversations or writings. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.